need to expose your child to different flavours gently. I mean, my daughter loves garlic and tomatoes. We haven't quite got onto curry or anything like that yet, but she loves those strong flavours. And you'll be surprised, like the amount of kids that eat olives. It took me nearly 30 years to eat an olive, but some kids will just straight away like little sweets or something like that. They've got an amazing palate, and I think sometimes we don't give them the, the credit that they deserve with their palate, and we, we hold back with flavours, but I'm all for let them try them. Giving your kids sweets as treats, I think, is maybe you're on dangerous ground there. They love nothing more than like a really sweet little blueberry or a little grape or something like that. But I think if they do something that warrants a treat, build it right up and give them something that you're comfortable giving them with. You know, there's no problem with sweets and chocolate, but you just, I think you need to mix it all up a little bit. If you've got a fussy eater as a child, don't worry. The best way to do it is to, is to use a food processor. And what I tend to do is stick five vegetables into a bolognese and hide them and they never know it's there. And then just when they start to really enjoy the food, one at a time let them know that actually that ingredient is in there. If you hit them with all five at once, they'll just put the barriers up, but just gently one at a time, then you might get there. You need to nurture their curiosity and let them get mucky in the kitchen. Let them make a mess because you can just clear it all up afterwards. Parents shouldn't beat themselves up about not cooking so much. Use a little baby coming along as an opportunity to get yourself into the kitchen and use those theories. Less is more with cooking, good ingredients. The better the ingredient, the less you have to do to something. And if you apply that to your cooking and their cooking, then you should go far with it. The key to getting kids to enjoy themselves in the kitchen is keep the recipe short and simple. No child is gonna sit and wait for something to cook for an hour. And they want to see a reaction, so they want to see it go from raw to cooked. The best thing I would think is cookies, muffins are great, little kebab, fruit kebabs. Even if you cook fruit and then serve it with a bit of ice cream, a little bit of one and the other works really well. I think it's really important to get your kids to help you clear down because they're involved from the start to the finish and with cooking that's really important. 